Hi everyone, we're at Albert Street today. So we're gonna sort of do an outside view and then I'm gonna film inside separately. So we'll just come and have a look. So we're in town, we're opposite the police station. got the car park so the lady and gentlemen have got um obviously it's permanent only out in the street but they have got the single garage i'll zoom straight out so you can see it all because it's a whopper of a building anything that's basically painted white is all to do with this place look at that so it's a really quirky period property i'm gonna put it up today and um, oh, I, I love it. It's really up my street. Thank you ever so much. So we'll just have a little look upstairs. So into the third bedroom. So this is a really good sized double. There's laminate floor to the floor in. And you've got a little alcove there which you can see the vendor has put the wardrobes in. Lovely windows. They're not the sash but they're um, made to look like and it's just easier if I'm honest. They're really nice. So fantastic size double. We'll go and do the other bedroom first because the master's really nice so keep that to last. So this is the little girls room. Again fantastic and you can fit a double. You'd bring it out this way. This is brilliant. Very cute. Beautiful. So as you can see there's a lot of things in this room so you could live here perfectly into the bathroom. So Victorian sink and toilet. Look at that. I love the colour on the walls. It really sets out with the cottage style. Brilliant that they've got a separate shower and then they've got the roll top, which is beautiful. You have to have this style of thing in a house. Let's have a look. Such a good size. Brilliant. So we're doing this house a little bit upside down because it's the three stories we're going to go round and I'm going to start from upstairs and go down and then bring you outside. So we'll go down and do the middle floor now. So this is the main living room so this is where the lady and gentleman hang out. It's very nice. Done in more so your geometric type of style with a beautiful G plan floor um, furniture very rustic type of wood flooring lovely that they've exposed the original stone and look at that fireplace around it's absolutely massive and it's an electric style log burner in there at the minute it's beautiful just such a good size such a bonus so into the kitchen, this is again a brilliant size kitchen. So the ladies and gentlemen have opted for sort of like the freestanding type of style, which is very quirky and really in at the minute. So they've got your dresser, your portable island, big American fridge freezer, lovely tiles. It's really nice. I'll turn around now so you can see it. So utility space here and then out to the garden. So in here is a little downstairs where I say middle floor toilet. Just a bonus, you're not running upstairs. But look at that, the size. It's fantastic. So we'll go out and we'll do the garden. It's a typical cottage garden. It's so pretty. Do you know the weeds in the wall? They add to it. I wouldn't get rid of them. They're fantastic. So you've got loads of pots. You've got some lavender. You've got some jasmine. Look at this. It's so cute. And totally private. Oh, imagine coming from that kitchen and sort of sitting down, having a cuppa in the morning and the weather that we've been having the last couple of days, you've got an extra entrance that way as well so you can pop out. Swing round. Look at that. Oh, it's just, it's cute. So the lady has made the most of it and sort of tucked chairs under there, made it so it is a cottagey style to fit with the property. It's not the biggest, but it's here and she's made the most of it. It's gorgeous. We'll just go back into the kitchen and I'll show you the rest of the house. 
So we'll go down and do the third floor now. So currently the children mostly use downstairs, but the lady and gentleman, once the children go to bed, they use it as sort of like a snag. But wait till you see it down here. There's no way that this can be called a snag. So we're not actually below ground level here. We are coming in and it's straight off to the pavement. So you've got the alcoves here. Next door to you is the single garage that comes with it. And what I mean single, it's single in size as in width, but length is more so like a double. Look at that for size. Beautifully done as well. All smooth ceilings, all smooth walls, all newly plastered. You've got the laminate floor throughout. So again, that matches the very top floor. Perfect kiddies room. You could separate this again and make it into one small, maybe two smaller rooms. That's brilliant. I really like the wallpaper and the old fashioned chairs. They go just the fireside chairs. So the ladies and gentlemen, um, because they use the garage, they come in through this door, but you can access the property through the, the door on the second floor, which is street level. Because the house is built on a hill, you can either access that way or you can come the other way.